All right, welcome to week 19 of Sister Skew Sustainable Co-op in Lizzie's Farm Kitchen. One week left, I can't believe it. Today I'm gonna to make a couple things for you, but first, we're gonna talk about fruit flies. All of a sudden I have fruit flies again, and here's just a cool little trap you can make. You put um, apple cider vinegar with a little soap in there to break the water tension, and um, saran wrap poke holes, they go in, they can't get out. My husband thinks that it attracts fruit flies, but they're already here and this works. Okay, so what I'm gonna make for you today is um, butter roasted carrots and parsnips and they're incredible. All you do is chop, 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 chop the carrots into coins and if you have any parsnips left from last week, you can do the same thing. Chop, 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 chop in the coins, throw them in your pan with the knob of butter, two or three tablespoons of butter and some salt and I already did this, I'll bring it over here. It does take a really long time, but if you're sitting around the kitchen anyway, it's totally worth it. You can see how it's got caramelized and you don't need to add maple syrup or sugar or anything. I have literally eaten like half the pan before I have served it to my family. And it's incredibly delicious. So I recommend that you make it because it's so good. Okay, the other thing I'm gonna make today is another soup. Last week we made an acorn uh, acorn soup, acorn winter squash soup out of acorn squash, and we roasted the acorn squash. So that takes a really long time. So today I tried something different in that I cut up the squash and I simmered it in the soup stock, and it was much quicker. Although it was a total pain to peel the squash, so you can uh, do it however you want. But this is how I did it, and I was peeling my squash this morning, and I actually broke the peeler. So then I use this other peeler that I've actually, ha I grew up with this peeler. We've had this peeler since like 1976. This is all the way from Manhattan. You can peel it that way, or I looked on the internet. Here's a really cool way to do it. You cut the bottom off. Am I talking too fast? I hope not. Cut the other bottom <laughs> off. Okay. Then you cut this off. Okay, then it makes it much easier. You can either use a little paring knife or your little peeler. Oops, well, looks easier, it's not really. <gasps> the phone is ringing. Well, let's just ignore that, okay? And then you um, cut it in half like that, scoop out the seeds. This is much easier than how I did it this morning, okay? Oh, you're gonna, I wonder who's calling me. And then you can hold it like this and peel it like that, okay? And that's somewhat easier. This is a very old peeler. <laughs> that's Taylor. That's Sarah. That's Taylor's wife. He's out packing the boxes. I wonder what she wants. Okay. Then what you do is you take your onions, you chop them up, and you put them in the pot with some olive oil and garlic and ginger and simmer and uh, saute it for just like five minutes till it gets translucent. Okay. Then you you put in your chopped up um, butternut squash. The smaller you cut it, the quicker it will cook. And I just used water. I didn't use stuff because it's so flavorful. Oh, I forgot the most important thing. Right when you're done simmering your, or actually sauteing your onions, you put in some curry paste. I happen to have green curry paste. Um, any kind will do. So I'm making a coconut curry butternut squash soup. It's incredible. So, and I, this is a stage I've got to so far. I've got the onions, the garlic, the ginger, the curry paste, and the very soft, you can see how soft that squash is. Then you just take some coconut milk, put it in there. It's kind of a yucky color. I think it's because it's the green curry. Maybe if you use yellow curry, it would look nicer. I don't know. Okay, then here we go again with my favorite tool. You don't have to put it in the blender. These are cheap too. These are like 20 bucks. And I've had this one for years. Here we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I don't know why it's not working. Uh, oh, there we go. Yeah. All right, just like last week, you can do it super chunky or super smooth, however you like. Okay, spoon it up into your bowl. And then what you can do is you can garnish it with some parsley. Garnish people, it's no big deal. You just rip your parsley, 
put it in and I had some cashews. There you go. And there you go. You're done. All right. See you next week.